cloud ops and devops are the two most trending technologies in the market today and in this session we're going to discuss the differences between them hi everyone this is kavya from eduweka welcome to today's session on cloud ops versus devops before we begin i'd like to address the agenda firstly we will understand what is cloud ops then we will also understand what is devops and then we will understand the differences between devops versus cloud ops then we'll discuss cloud and devops benefits then finally we'll talk about some of the market trends so without much ado let's get started what is cloud ops you must have figured out that cloud ops is shorthand for cloud operations the managerial practice and activities relating to the delivery and optimization of it services and workloads run in the public cloud cloud ops includes the definition and ongoing refinement of business processes and methods to optimize the availability flexibility and efficiency of cloud services so that the business can successfully execute its mission so basically cloud ops is the incubator for business agility moving on what is devops devops on the other hand is a combination of two words namely development and operations it is a practice that allows a single team to manage the entire application development life cycle that is development testing deployment and monitoring devops is a software development approach with the help of which you can develop superior quality software quickly and with more reliability it consists of various stages such as continuous development continuous integration continuous testing continuous deployment and continuous monitoring let's move on to the main part of the session and discuss the differences between devops and cloud ops Now in terms of affordability with the enormous number of cloud based platforms available cloud ops providers compete on quality and price the organizations that use cloud computing has to worry less about maintaining an expensive network architecture on site instead they can simply team up with the cloud service providers to get the support for all networking or server needs without compromising on the affordability however devops experts are costly to hire and making any necessary changes to your software infrastructure comes with costs too the next difference that we're going to be talking about is expansion friendliness with cloud ops organizations can get unlimited expandable storage and processing power as per their needs but in the case of devops expanding or upgrading the infrastructure to optimize software delivery is not as easy it is potentially expensive and a complicated procedure The next difference is based on the development focus. Apart from cloud development, DevOps engineers also work with online applications and downloadable software. Cloud engineers work to design cloud systems for internal use, that is for the organization, while DevOps engineers focus on streamlining the development and release for the company software solutions, that is for the organization's clients. Moving on in terms of scalability, DevOps implements certain practices like continuous integration, continuous testing, continuous monitoring to secure better scalability. On the other hand, cloud ops, that is cloud technology, allows you to increase or reduce capacity at any point of time. So cloud ops is more flexible and enables better scalability. The next difference that we're talking about is automation. Automation in DevOps enables various tasks in the software development life cycle. And also in cloud ops, cloud resources automate many operations across the software development life cycle. Next on the list we have accessibility. Now it is really important for DevOps engineers to make accessibility as an integral function of the design of the entire life cycle. But on the other hand that is cloud ops a lack of on-site servers allows teams to manage servers and operations from almost anywhere. This means that you can access your own data from any remote location. Moving on we have shared resources. Now in DevOps the resources are limited whereas in cloud ops it allows applications that share common services to coexist without being interconnected. In short because everything is on cloud you can easily share your resources. Moving on we have backup management. Now in terms of DevOps the same tools that allow developers to rapidly deploy code under DevOps can be also used to provision and deploy recovery volume. But in cloud ops since data is in centrally located or physically stored on site disaster recovery processes are automatically in place with cloud technology. The last difference is in based on cost. Now DevOps reduces the manpower needed for the process and slashes software release costs significantly. On the other hand cloud resources track usage 
making it easier to allocate expenses accordingly. Now let's move on and discuss some of the benefits of implementing cloud and DevOps. If you implement and practice DevOps with cloud, it will enable agility, it'll empower users, it will also automate security and implement redundancy. Also, you can streamline change management and finally see some improvement continuously. With all of this said, let's see the future and market trends of DevOps. The global DevOps market size is expected to reach 12.85 billion US dollars by 2025. Now, these statistics that you can see demonstrate the rising adoption of cloud technologies, digitization of enterprises to automate business processes, and soaring adoption of agile frameworks. Growing trends are also occurring in the world of cloud computing because there is an increase in the diversity of cloud services, which are eventually leading to multi-cloud and hybrid infrastructure. So it is safe to say that DevOps is the latest technology that will take a high toll in the future. And now is definitely the time to learn DevOps and adopt it in cloud. I hope you had a great time learning about the differences between DevOps and cloud ops. Until next time, thank you.